I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Joshua, chapter 23. Let's focus on verses 11 through 13. So be very diligent to love the Lord your God for your own well-being. For if you turn away and cling to the rest of these nations remaining among you, and if you intermarry or associate with them, and they with you, know for certain that the Lord your God will not continue to drive these nations out before you. They will become a snare and a trap for you, a scourge for your sides and thorns in your eyes, until you disappear from this good land that the Lord your God has given to you. You may have heard it said that Jesus paid the penalty for the sin of the world, and we are all spiritually bankrupt, and yet Jesus willfully chose to pay off our balance. And in addition, He promised to fill our accounts with His unending righteousness if we would, by faith, believe and then receive it by turning from our sin to follow Him. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. He made the one who knew no sin to be the sin offering for us so that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. So when reading that verse, He made the one. You might interpret it as saying that God made Jesus do something that He would not otherwise have chosen. But Scripture clearly says that Jesus willingly gave down His own life because of His love for sinful mankind. John 18, verses 17 and 18. This is why the Father loves me, because I am laying down my life, so that I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have the right to lay it down, and I have the right to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. Or what about Romans chapter 5, verse 8? But God proves His own love for us, and that while we were still sinners, the Messiah died for us. Joshua told Israel what the consequences of their sin would be if they turned away from God. Their judgment would be a process of spiritual and national decline. Welcome to America today. God would cease driving away their enemies, They would become ensnared by their enemies, trapped, scourged. Thorns would blind them until they disappeared from the land of Canaan. Now consider how Jesus paid Israel's sin penalty as he was paying the penalty for the sin of the world. Compared to Joshua's exhortation, truly the Messiah, Jesus, has borne the penalty for Israel's turning away from God, even down to... uh, the sword in the flesh and the thorns in the brow. John 19, verses 1 through 3. Then Pilate took Jesus, sorry, then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. And the soldiers also twisted together a crown of thorns. They put it on his brow and they threw a purple robe around him. And they repeatedly came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews and they were slapping his face. Jesus has done the same for you and for me. Moreover, by virtue of his resurrection, he is alive today, and he offers eternal life free to us if we would repent and follow him. If you haven't done that already, would you surrender to the Lord today? If you'd like to learn more about the gospel, you can check that out at our website, groundworksministries.com, and right on the front page, there's a section called The Gift, and it explains the gospel, and it leads you through a prayer where you could speak to the Lord yourself, and you could receive salvation today. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.